I'm just so anxiously waiting the day when I finally get to walk in and sit down into this real bar on a real bar stool and, you know, get poured a glass of our beer that we sat around a table for a year and talked about and just watch it, you know, pour into the glass. But you come in through the main entrance, the long bar will come down the length of the tap room and uh, the bar should end about by this arch. We have this atrium view where you can see into the brewery space. Directly in front of the atrium, we'll have a stage built for live entertainment throughout the week and the evenings. And during the day, we can have uh, some elevated seating for people who want to enjoy their beer next to the atrium. Building something always has its greatest reward when it is finished and you get to see it blossom. For this space, kind of where your, your angle is, you would probably be sitting right where the uh, you know, mash tun and the actual brewing system will be, be held. And then against these windows, which actually overlook the front of house, we'll have fermentation tanks. Um, so deliveries from the, from the street side, uh, we would have grain storage and probably our uh, larger pieces of mechanical equipment like uh, boiler system and chiller gear. This is not, you know, just some whim to think about opening a brewery. This is an idea that came to fruition over a period of time and is really seen as a mechanism, as a tool uh, to not take me away from ministry, uh, but to enable me uh, to continue to do the kind of ministry that God's called me to by doing something else that I really love also. So this is part of the revitalization of downtown Toledo. Uh, we're very glad to be a part of that. Plus, we have a kind of monastic abbey feel to what we're doing. And uh, as you can see, um, it fits so well with this space. With these sweeping marches that run through the entire front of the house that we plan on utilizing. In the future, this will be where the kitchen will be. Um, as we uh, develop from just a tap room into a brew pub. And uh, we're looking forward to that and being able to um, do a lot of great beer and food pairing. The Kickstarter is about, you know, if you're that place and you would really love to be a part of making something like this happen, this is the way you can do that. This Kickstarter is so critical because us being able to share the heart of what Black Cloister is, um, is imperative. People have to know and sense and feel what we're trying to do. I love Toledo. I've always loved Toledo. And I hope through the, through the church, through the brewery, through whatever it is I do, that uh, it leaves a mark on the community um, in a positive way. What this will do will not only build a brewery, but it will help build a community. We can't help anyone or help any organization unless we are successful as a business. To do that, we have to make a great product. We have to make great beer. You can drink beer, and that's great. You can drink great beer, even, and that's cool too. But um, we want to give you an option where you can drink a great beer that also has a great purpose.